Uh, NC State underwhelmed for a third straight game. Particularly starting slow against an inferior opponent again is going to be frustrating. Part of the Tennessee deal, you can write off as Tennessee is very, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. The Western Carolina-Louisiana Tech game, starting that slow and having to storm up from from behind or storm up from from alongside is is going to be frustrating. Now, should we start with the uh, uh, obligatory the ACC is still out there. You're used to the conference is still uh, available mathematically, mm-hmm. technically. You have all of that. It's all there. Uh, you still have your entire ACC schedule ahead of you. But man, don't don't those those three games start like it's starting to make me feel like every time I point out that the ACC goals are still on the table, it feels like I might be setting up a fan base for a painful fall. Huh. Just reminding you, like, oh, all your lofty goals are still available. And that's like getting you excited for them when through your first three games, there's not many reasons to expect those goals to be achieved. This game, and I said it on Friday, was all about Grayson McCall. It was all about your quarterback. It was all about getting him back on track. I'll use a stat for you, and I saw this earlier today. There are only four quarterbacks in the history of college football. Four that have finished the year with a 200-plus passer rating, over 200 for an entire season. It's Mac Jones when they won the national championship at Alabama. It's Jaden Daniels and Joe Burrow when they won the Heisman Trophy. And it's Grayson McCall in 2021 at Coastal Carolina. Mm -hmm. So I believed this game against Louisiana Tech was all about finding out how to get him back to 2021 levels. The injury obviously upended that. And it's already been announced by Dave Doran uh, that while Grayson McCall is day-to-day, C.J. Bailey, the true freshman, will start against Clemson on Saturday. Yeah, C.J. will start the game, and uh, it's his team. And like I said, we'll take it one day at a time with Grayson. And when he's ready to play, he'll be back. And, you know, it's all hands on deck. And suddenly, that's what everything in this program is about. Right? I I was watching the the – uh, state game and taking notes and I'm writing down like got to be able to fix the slow start writing down some of the defensive flaws that they still haven't quite uh, you know clogged the leak uh, Jordan Waters struggling run- in the running game like I'm writing all of this down and then as soon as CJ Bailey takes over it all falls into the background and getting CJ Bailey ready to play against Clemson this weekend is all hands on deck that's what th- that's what everything is about you don't have a chance against Clemson if Concepcion and Joe Lee and Rodgers and even someone like Dakari Collins and even someone like uh, Wesley Grimes and, and maybe even some of the freshmen, if they can't impact the game and all of those guys play a dependent position, they can't catch passes that aren't thrown to them. That is dependent on C.J. Bailey. C.J. Bailey is going to be making his first career start not just on the road, not just on the road in an ACC conference game, not just on the road in an ACC conference opener, but at Clemson in Death Valley on the road. Yay. Talk about being tossed into the deep end. Mm -hmm. That's what this becomes about now. And I give him credit, right? I actually kind of love the way his game went. Obviously, he led the comeback, right? They were down whatever it was, 17-6 at half. Uh, He led the comeback. They got the win, 30-20. to Wasn't always the prettiest, but he started one for three with a pick. True freshman comes into the game because your veteran polished passer gets hurt, tossed in there. He goes one for three with an interception and then completes his next seven passes. So I like the 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 brain he has on him, right? I like the, the emotional intelligence of C.J. Bailey. That's going to be ramped up at, at Clemson. Dave Doran after the game. Uh, by the way, the, the uh, piece of audio we played earlier, that was from today, him talking about C.J. Bailey starting moving forward. Uh, this is Dave Doran talking about Bailey's performance in the game postgame. I think it's just poise, you know. I mean, he just went out there and played the game. You know, whether he was throwing the football or scrambling, throwing it away, um, rushing for some tough yards at times to extend the chains. Did a really good job just managing it and playing fast, and he looked really poised. 
So that was good to see. And he's going to need it. He's going to need it. Because like I said, Casey Concepcion in that game was kind of a non-factor, right? I think it was eight catches for 25 yards. That's not enough. It's not about getting him the ball. It's about getting him the ball in positions he can do things with it. Dakari Collins ended up being the leading receiver. The running game came from all over the place and mostly late in the game. There is an NC State worry that I have now that was always kind of looming right after that Western Carolina game. There's always been this thought of not liking some of the things that you saw, but you were always able to, with a little logic and reason, push it away. No, no, no. It was just week one. They got a lot of transfers. They had to figure it out. No, 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 no. Tennessee's really good. They got a bunch of NFL guys. That's not that's not real. They just got, you know, a little quicksand, right? Things started rolling against them and it and it, and it got big really quickly. Well, now we're three games in. Every game has had things pop up that concerns me. And you're rolling in with a freshman quarterback to your next game. This this is is, for lack of a better term, put up or shut up time for the for the NC State Wolfpack. There's only so much kind of fending off of those looming negative thoughts you can do before they they just take up residency in your brain. This game was all about Grayson McCall. He gets hurt. It just transitions. Now it's all about C.J. Bailey and allowing him to activate all your playmakers. 